And we are less than 24 hours away from the start of the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition. See we returning to the Low Country this year. The art, the animals, lots of great entertainment, of course. See we did wasn't here last year, and of course that was because of COVID-19. News News Jordan Sayopa joins us live from Marion Square. Jordan, the events are spread out all over downtown Charleston the next several days. Brendan Carolyn, Seaweed VIP events kick off tomorrow, but come Friday, one ticket gets you into all of the venues during general admission hours. And if you still need a ticket, you can get them still at the event locations themselves, as well as visitor centers across the Low Country. Now, I talked with both artists and organizers, and they both say they're very excited for Seaweed to return. Crews racing against the clock and the weather as the start of the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition gets closer. A little bit of a rain um, thrown in the forecast, you know, throws us off a little bit. We still have some tents going up in the outer parks. At the Charleston Place Hotel, artists filed into the ballroom on Wednesday, setting up the pieces they've been waiting to display since last year's event was canceled. I mean, it's been fun to see some of these artists that haven't seen each other in a couple of years. A lot of hugs going around. It's it's a reunion. It's a lot of excitement. I think people are excited. Artists are excited to be back, to be able to do a show again. David Turner has been participating in Seawe for over 30 years. He traveled from Virginia, bringing nearly 60 limited edition bronze wildlife sculptures. It's, it's taken at least a month to get a lot of these pieces ready, and some were just finished yesterday. This year, on its 40th anniversary, Seawe is drawing in more than 500 wildlife experts, artists, and exhibitors, and is even offering some new additions like a kid zone. So there's a little bit of what people uh, come to expect and a little bit of news sprinkled in. And we have Jeff Corwin coming back at the Gilliard Center, Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, the Center for Birds of Prey down at Marion Square, and they'll all have new animals and that sort of thing with them. The final touch is being made ready for a weekend long celebration of the great outdoors and the return of a beloved Low Country tradition. So we're really excited to be one of the first major events back in Charleston, and we hope we set a good standard. Now, as for parking, organizers suggest using the city's parking garages as well as the buses and rideshare apps. Live in Charleston, Jordan Sayopa, count on two.